I was just making breakfast for the kids and um, I went to the washroom and my whole face started burning up and I knew right away that something was really wrong. My left side of my body was unable to be moved and I said to my husband, call 911. I knew something was very wrong. What happened was my vertebral artery was damaged on the inside and because of that, um, I had a massive stroke in my basilar artery. For acute stroke therapy, you can't manage a patient without being able to see their CT scan. What an ENIS has enabled us to do is to be able to look at the scans in real time and with video conferencing to actually see the patient and discuss the situation with the local physician, we can make a decision to treat the patient right in their local emergency department and make a decision whether the patient is eligible for the clot-busting therapy TPA. It's wonderful that Dr. Silver or any neurologist could uh, diagnose remotely via webcam and have you know, somebody else in another location administer a drug that perhaps they wouldn't have administered on their own. The sooner we uh, begin therapy and we restore the blood flow to the area of the brain uh, that's in trouble, the more likely we are to succeed. We have situations where we can completely reverse a stroke in process and that can only be accomplished in remote areas in our province through telestroke and the use of video conferencing and reviewing images through the ENIT system. So had Dr. Silver not been able to diagnose me remotely, I would have probably been left with major, major permanent deficits. Because I received the TPA when I did, I was able to pretty immediately go back to living a normal life, getting back to my job, getting back to my family. Give Leo a kiss. <laughs>